welcome to the Spain and Inca Civilization DLC pack for Sid Meier Civilization 5. In this walkthrough we'll show you two of the new civilizations in this expansion and give you a sneak peek at a new scenario, Conquest of the New World. Dios bendiga a aquellos que lo merezcan. Soy Isabel de España. Meet Queen Isabella. She's back in Civilization 5 to lead the Spanish Civilization. Each civilization in Sid Meier's Civilization 5 has a unique ability, and Spain's power is called Seven Cities of Gold. Spain gets a gold bonus for discovering a natural wonder, and this bonus is enhanced if Spain is the first civilization to find it. If you can bring the wonder into the borders of your empire, the bonus for these wonders are doubled. A good effective playstyle with Spain is to explore the world as soon and as broadly as possible, looking for new lands to settle in the remote corners and finding as many natural wonders as you can. You want to send ships and scouts out over the horizon as quickly as possible. Here we've got a game underway and we can show you some of the power of the Spanish Empire. Spain has two unique military units. The first is the Tercio, which replaces the Musketman. The Tercio has a higher combat strength and gets a substantial bonus against mounted forces. But it's also more expensive to build, so don't plan to overwhelm your enemies with numbers. The Conquistador is Spain's replacement for the Knight. This unit is a strong scout for exploring new lands, and like all other mounted units, it has excellent speed. But its cool power is that it can settle new cities on a different continent than the one where the capital resides. So, if Spain is a broad and expansive empire, then the Incan civilization is a neat contrast, and we'll take a look at them now. Here's mighty Pachacuti, the Earth Shaker. The Incans are a civilization that excels at creating impenetrable mountain enclaves. The Great Andean Road ability lets their units ignore terrain costs when moving into any tile with a hill. Also, they don't pay any maintenance costs for improvements in hills, and their tile improvements elsewhere only cost half as much. Terrain that would stop other units or slow a city's growth to a crawl is nothing to the Inca. This is the kind of map where the Inca excel, one with lots of hills and mountains where a player can tuck up and use his unique units and unique tile improvement to his best ability. The Incan unique unit is the Slinger, and this replaces the Ancient Era Archer. A strong, early game range unit with fast movement on hills can be quite a headache for anyone who tries to take your cities without your permission, but you have to be careful. The Slinger is even more fragile in melee than a normal Archer. If enemies do close with it, it does have a promotion that gives it a chance to escape before the melee attack can occur, so you can run away and fight another day. The Incans also get a unique tile improvement, the Terrace Farm. A terrace farm yields a food just like a regular farm, but it also gets extra food from each nearby mountain tile. This means your farms built near mountains can be almost as productive as farms built on the most fertile river valley tiles in the game. Your cities will grow faster than any other civilizations would be able to in this kind of terrain. And if you tuck up a terrace farm surrounded by mountains, it can produce a really huge amount of food. And it looks very cool too. So you can see that between the mountains that protect us and give us food, and our slinger unit to defend our borders, we're ready to build the Incan civilization as a citadel from where we can pursue our victory without being bothered by the rest of the world. These two civilizations and four civs from Civilization V come together in a special scenario with this DLC called Conquest of the New World. You'll be able to play as either a European or native power. The object of the scenario is to be the first civilization to score victory points by finding treasure and bringing it back to your capital. You'll be able to create treasure from raising the cities of your enemies, or finding the legendary wonders of El Dorado and Potosi. Be careful though, scurvy will plague your ships until you build a navigational school, and once the piracy technology is discovered, then war is almost a certainty between the European powers. Native players will have to hold off against the onslaught of foreign invaders and the machinations of the other native civilizations too. And while all this goes on, time is ticking, you've only got 100 turns to win the scenario. Thanks for taking a look at the Spain and Inca DLC walkthrough for Sid Meier's Civilization V. Good luck leading these civilizations on an epic journey to stand the test of time.